So welcome back friends. As you know, the 4th of July is, uh, well, it's coming up this coming Wednesday and we are getting ready to kick off our, is it 6th annual or 7th annual family 4th of July river drift where we uh, invite a lot of friends and family over. Uh, we go to the local um, 4th of July parade. Then we do this really cool uh, river drift that's uh, family friendly. It's, um, I wouldn't say completely slack water. There's just enough ripple in it to be exciting for the little ones. But speaking of little ones, since we have a little one this year, that poses us with a bit of a problem. We have traditionally done it on inner tubes and that's just not going to be suitable for baby D. So I have a solution and that is a boat in a bag. <clears throat> All right, let's take a look. So last, I actually ordered these last year, last winter, uh, but uh, winter came a little bit early and we were uh, unable to really use it. So I haven't even opened this one. So let's take a look and see. But apparently, according to the manufacturer, this will, this will, you can load it up with, I think, close to 900 pounds. It's pretty extraordinary in this little package. Let's, let's see what we got here. All right. ruin everything this is so disappointing look at that brand new we have lost thousands of dollars worth of equipment from mice that have uh, I guess that's one of the problems with living in the country is uh, is the mice that haven't even opened this and I had I left it stored in a bag and I never thought that they would get in there and eat a hole in the side of a brand new boat Uh oh look at this Oh, and there's babies in there, too. Oh, it's a cruel world, isn't it? Well, all I can do is take them outside. Man. Well, uh, we won't be drifting in this boat. Hopefully, it, that's a pretty big hole. It's about a full one inch there right in the side of the air chamber. Hopefully, uh, I can maybe I can contact the manufacturer and see if there's a way to repair this. I'll bet there is. It did come with a patch kit, so we'll try that and see if there's a patch big enough to fix that and if it'll hold. But uh, no problem because we have a second one. We, I ordered two. Uh, let's open it up. Hopefully it doesn't have a hole in the side of it. Man, I just don't know what the solution is to protect things from these mice. They're just, they get into everything. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to reevaluate some things. We might have to have a mouse proof gear room because this is just not a good deal. So a lot of you have been asking about the vehicle there in the back in the shop, what that's all about. That's, uh, that belongs to Brian's um, a girlfriend. It needs a, apparently needs a new head gasket. So he asked to use the shop to do that repair. So I think he's getting ready to get started on that. Okay, let's. See if we have better luck with the second boat. Okay, so you guessed it, it is a canoe. And these are really high quality, they have great reviews. The first time I saw one of these, actually, I believe was on Nut and Fancy's channel, he did a river run with one of these, and I thought, man, what a great solution that is, because I have had canoes in the past. We actually got one when Jack was little uh, because we were looking for something that we could uh, you know, take out and do together. It's hard to find activities to do with little kids sometimes. Uh, and we bought a hard sided canoe and, and it was fun and all, but it was, it was really a pain. It's hard to carry it around. Um, and with the uh, adventure van, yeah, I could put a rack on the top, top and put it up there, but you're taking your life into your hands climbing up there. I mean, what is it, 12 feet up to the top of that? Is there 10 feet? It's way, way up there and it just becomes kind of a burden. So I was looking for something that was, I could put in a bag that was, we could stuff under the bed uh, and have uh, access to a boat because we have so many beautiful lakes and waterways around here. So this was a solution. So let's, uh, let's air it up and see how it looks, see if it's got any holes in it. And in case you're curious, this is uh, made by Sea Eagle um, and it's a 
really well built. I can tell right here, it's got nice valves. It's got a three chamber, super stable uh, canoe uh, that you can uh, put three people in. So let's, uh, let's put some air in it. So this is the compressor. When I opted uh, for this, you can get the, the hand pump and you can get a, or you could get the compressor. And um, I've had the hand pumps before and that, uh, boy, that's a lot of work. So I was hoping that the compressor was decent. Actually, it's pretty nice. So there's the rubber hose. Oh, so this is cool. So this has got a nice long lead that you can uh, snap onto your car battery. I've got a battery here next to one. I think it's got a charge on it, hopefully. Let's see here. We'll put this on, it should be, so it's even got plugs right there. What I might do is this turns out to be a good pump. You know, maybe that's something that we could like build into the van, into a cabinet um, and hardwire it into the van. So, this snaps on here. It actually looks like a pretty decent compressor. Rubber feet on it. Some of these are really chintzy. But uh, the question is how quickly is it going to inflate? So there's a label inside the canoe that says it needs to be set to 10 pounds. So this is kind of clever here. So I can, looks like we can preset the compressor and hopefully it shuts off at that pressure. So either it doesn't work or the battery's dead. Let me check the battery. So indeed the battery was dead. We'll just hook it up here to the battery charger and we'll give it about 10 amps. Now let's try it. Ooh, there we go, that thing really tears. So it seems to me we'll start with the bottom. These are safety valves. So if, with the spring on there, you push in and turn to lock. Um, I'm assuming, so we'll lock it on there. Will it take air when it's locked? Hopefully, some of these are nice because you can, when you pull out the hose, it won't, uh, uh, let air, won't, won't let the air out. Two minutes and 15 seconds. Okay. Oh yeah, there we go. That's nice. Okay, so it doesn't hold the air. So to let the air out, we can press on that spring. And then this locks that in, preventing accidental deflation. All right, let's try this side here. So it came with these three seats that will inflate. We'll see how they go in. Well, I really like that compressor. That's a nice surprise. I, you, you know, these things, you, these, we've got a lot of inflatable stuff and you never really know sometimes when it's the right pressure. This way it's just idiot proof. All right, here's the, the cushion. So believe it or not, I actually read the instructions. I know, there's a, there's a first for everything. It looks like you take the cushion here, right? Place it where you want it. You want to sit on that strap there. That there, I guess that's gonna provide a little bit of lateral support there for the uh, hull as well. Snap these guys on here. So far, so good. You know, it actually, everything looks pretty well put together. Looks actually really nice. It's super rigid, which is kind of surprising for a canoe. Okay, so then you can, there we have a, a seat, fully adjustable with a the back there. Let's see how it feels. Okay, so we can set this up for, there's three of these little seats. So we could set it up for three people. I've got it set up for one. Of course, when you, you're a solo canoeist, you sit in the back, um, but that feels pretty good. The, the little, the cushion's a little bit stiff. I might take a little bit of air out of there, but the back feels really good. Um, like super rigid. I mean, really rigid, like hard side rigid. So all in all, I'd have to say very impressed. It looks pretty well put together. We've got a hard plastic uh, kind of bumpers there on the bow and the stern. This should be super stable as far as canoes go. It's it's essentially a stand-up paddleboard with uh, two sides on it. Uh, handles is pretty light. I think it said about 65 pounds. One thing that's kind of interesting is it came with this, 
Is it a skeg? I believe a skeg for tracking. Let's flip it over, see what that's all about. That might be kind of nice in a windy area. I also noticed here that I didn't realize there's two drain plugs, or four. There's two on each side. I thought they were maybe self-bailing deals, but I don't think so. I think it's uh, this is the back uh, of, the, of the canoe, and if it got rain in, you could open those probably outside. You probably wouldn't want those open while you're, while you're paddling away, but let's flip it over and check out the, the skeg deal. The problem with a lot of these inflatable deals is they're too squishy in the middle. They tend to fold with weight, but this is, this is rigid. Did I, 65? I think 65 pounds or so. So manageable by just about anybody. Okay. So here's the bottom back. That's the insert. That's probably, there could be some improvement in that design. That, you think that's gonna stay in there very long? There's nothing to keep it. They should probably put some sort of a keeper in there. Um, Oh, do you use this for the keeper? I don't think that, no, you wouldn't be able to use that in there, would you? Oh, it's tapered. It's got a tapered deal in there so it fits tight. Yeah, huh, I don't, I don't know. They should have a keeper in there for that. Uh, this is tethered. So you push the skeg in and then we've got a wedge lock. Oh, it's got a snap on it too, so that won't come out. That's good, actually, that's pretty good. This would be really nice. Last year, remember when Jack and I went fishing, we, we were in that little tiny raft that my dad got him. It was windy, it blew us all around, we were having a heck of a time. Uh, this would be really nice, this will help it to track straight, especially when you're paddling to troll. Um, that's kind of cool. I didn't realize that it was gonna have that. I, I like that feature. That's pretty nice, and it's not a cheesy uh, f uh, inflatable one, it's actually a, a real one. This here, should be should have been retained though so there's only one test final test and we have to see if it is sweet loaf approved if it passes that test i think it's going to be a win so uh i'll try i'll do a little research on patching that um i'll do another video on it see if i can get that thing fixed i'm sure we'll figure something out there's a lot of whitewater rafting companies around here if i get stuck that they can probably help me uh, but we'll uh, we'll take it out of the water and try it out with the family and see how it works. But it looks really really good so far. Mrs. W is in the background here. Oh man, I told everyone we had to check and see if it was going to be sweet loaf approved with her new life jacket on. Are you ready? Can you hold this open for me? Okay, here we go. Are you ready? You look a little. She looks a little stiff. You look a little stiff. I think Papa will probably be holding. Holding the baby there. What do you think? Is that going to work for you? Are you ready for some boating action? Are you? That looks a little bit... Uh, that's a lot of flotation in that thing. <laughs> Maybe we'll take that off. How about we take that off? Come on, watch your hand. Watch your hand. Can you sit up? Let's try it again. Ready? Mama, you take her light jacket off. Uh oh, everything's falling apart. That's better. Who dresses you? Where do you get purple stripes? How is it? What do you think? It's pretty fabulous, huh? Sweetest thing I've ever seen. So far as I can tell, she likes it. All right, so we'll uh, we'll take you out on the when we go out on the river. Uh, we're thinking about doing a um, a either a three day, probably a three day with her, a three day uh, river drift uh, this summer, and uh, I'm really looking forward to. It. I've been wanting to do it for a long time. We've got a, several friends that do it every year. Um, so, but we'll bring you we'll bring you on, on that trip as well. So. Thanks for watching. We'll uh, I'll get to work on the patch, see if we can get that resurrected, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Happy Fourth, happy fourth of July.